Hello there, welcome to this update for Wednesday the 3rd of July uh, 2019 and a couple of bits of news that have come out today uh, or that have happened overnight or that will happen tomorrow just to make you aware of. So the biggest story of today is that Helder Costa has officially left Wolves and he's gone to Leeds for a one-year loan with an obligation to buy very much the same as Dendonka. He will be going to Leeds permanently next summer. Uh, with a fee that's obviously undisclosed, as all transfers are nowadays. But from talking to a Leeds friend of mine, they seem to believe that it's somewhere in the region of seven to fourteen million pounds. I think from watching him last season, I think it's probably to the lower end of this spectrum. It's a shame, really, because he's been such a good player for Wolves in certain spells, and we'll never forget. Even this season, he's been really, really poor. I think we can all accept that. But that game against Spurs, and that second half, and that goal was exceptional but on a, on the whole this season he didn't contribute anywhere near that, that we hoped I, I was talking to my again talking to my friend who's a Leeds fan and I had tipped Helder Costa to be one of the best players in the Wolves squad this season and he did start well he was in that team that was unchanged for the first 10 or 12 games whatever it was and he did contribute quite positively to a number of games Manchester United away uh, is one of the ones that stands out for me Arsenal as well at the Emirates, I think he played quite well in that game from memory. However, he just sort of lost interest or lost confidence, whatever it was. The change in the system as well didn't really suit him as he's a, very much a wide player uh, and he was forced to go down the middle a little bit too much for his liking. Uh, so that that affected him really. Um, I think that his move to Leeds will be very, very good for him. We've seen him succeed if the two years that he was in the championship, despite the second season he was a little bit affected by injury, he still managed to contribute a number of goals and assists uh, in that season. The first season that he was with us, I think he was one of the best players in the division and without him, we would not have stayed in the championship that season. I think Bielsa as well as a, as a coach will get the best out of him. I think he's got the potential to be one of the top players in the championship and Leeds if they don't get promoted this season with the signings they've made and the plays they've managed to hold, hang on to so far, they've got to be looking at automatic promotion and, and winning the league, definitely. Um, the next piece of news then is that Raul Jimenez scored the winning goal for Mexico last night in their game against Haiti in the semi-final of the Gold Cup. So they're through to the final and they'll find out whether they play uh, USA or Jamaica this evening. They play their game at about 2 o'clock. The final of that of the Gold Cup is at Sunday night or Monday morning at 2am. Um, so if there's any Wolves fans interested in watching that, uh, and set your alarms very, very early for that one. And then one other bit of transfer rumour, which I think is, I'm assuming it's not very reliable. There's a, a man on Twitter who's saying that Wolves are going to announce the signing of a player called Skov, who's a six foot one winger, uh, I don't know a lot about him, but that's the, that's really scraping the barrel at the moment. Um, but the new kits are due out tomorrow, and a couple of people have suggested that perhaps you know July spells the start of new players coming in. We saw that Ruben Neves, when he signed two years ago, he revealed one of the kits. It could be that that's the case, or it could be that people are reading a little bit too much into it. But I've said before that I'm not too concerned about how many players we've got. I think. A little bit similar to last summer in that we've got a very, very strong core of the squad and we only really need to add one or two key players. Now, the Express and Star ruled out moves for Conza and Alvarez the other day after <laughs> almost as soon as I put the video up. So it's going to be interesting because we, I would suggest that we are going to sign a, a defender uh, whether we get rid of anybody or not. I also think that... Um, with Costa going, there's been stories of Cavaliero moving all of his uh, belongings back to Portugal in preparation for a move as well. And those two, Costa and Cavaliero, often go to places together. We've seen them, I think Benfica and Wolves and somewhere else, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Monaco, perhaps, they've been together. So it wouldn't surprise me if Cavaliero was to go to Leeds as well. And Leeds fans... If to have those two in the championship, I think could be a very, very exciting season for them. And as well today was the first opportunity for Wolves fans to get hands on tickets for a game, a, a competitive game next season, uh, and tickets for the game against either Crusaders or B36 Torshavn have gone on sale for season ticket holders today. I've grabbed mine already. Uh, very, very excited and looking forward to that now. Uh, their game, 
that fixture, the first leg is next Thursday, the 11th of July. So we'll be maybe not watching it, but we'll certainly be keeping an eye out for the results of that game and starting to plan journeys. I know the Wolves fans have already bought flights to Belfast in hope that that's going to be the game, but you can never be too sure at this level. It could well be a little trip up to the Faroe Islands uh, in late July or 1st of August, sorry. So anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.